this is John from Riversmith here. I'm going to run through a quick demo on how to install uh, the River Quiver. Uh, right now we're going to be unboxing a black four banger, a standard 10 feet four length. And uh, yeah, let's get right on into it. So right now we've got our coupler pieces here that are going to attach the extrusions together. All right, so the first step here is we're gonna to wanna to see where we're gonna to wanna to mount the river quiver in regards to the crossbars and the back hatch here that pops up on our car. Now, the best way to do this is going to be coming right on back here, just opening up the back hatch, because you wanna make sure that the reel box is gonna clear it or be a little bit forward from the hatch there, uh, so you don't run into your hatch when you open it hitting the river quiver when you're opening and closing it. As we've configured here, this seems like a good distance here to avoid the back hatch there. And now I'm just gonna make a measurement of the middle of the crossbar here, just to the back extrusion so I can mark that and know where the first mounting bracket's gonna go. All right, 33 and a half inches. So now I'm just gonna make a small mark here with our Sharpie measuring from end of the extrusion there to 33 and a half inches. Now we've got our first half marked here. We're ready to start putting the mounting brackets on there. All the mounting brackets are gonna be living inside here of the reel box with the keys, manual, and the mounting brackets are gonna have the bolts already in them ready to go. Um, you just have to lightly unscrew them here. So on top of the mounting bracket here, we have a T-stud, and this is what's gonna slide through the T-channel here that goes all the way across the extrusions here on the river quiver. So just sliding them down to this mark I made earlier. Just gonna loosely set that one there for now. Take my second bracket and do the same thing here. We can take our 10 millimeter nut driver and start tightening down the nut that's right here in the middle here. That's gonna fasten the T-stud right down onto the extrusion there so it's gonna stay nice and firm in place. All right, so now we've got our first two mounting brackets here installed on the first half of the extrusions. We can now look at the measurement between the two crossbars to now figure out the distance between where these mounting brackets are gonna go and where the second set are gonna go on the second half of the extrusion. So between the two, crossbars here we're looking at 32 and a half inches so as we're doing this we're going to want to make sure that the river quiver logo here on the second half is going to be in conjunction with how this is going to be installed so that's going to be upside down as we're working on the bottom side of the river quiver right now so to make our mark we're just going to put these two extrusions right next to each other and I'm gonna make our second mark here at 32 and a half inches. Okay, now we're gonna do the same process we did on the first two here as well. Just take one bolt out from either side of the bracket real quick here. That's gonna help for when we're installing it on the vehicle later on. Take our 10 millimeter nut driver here again and fasten these down right at that same mark I made like last time. Okay, so now that we've got all four brackets fastened down here and in conjunction with where our two crossbars are on the car and also gonna avoid the hatch on the back, we're ready to install the coupler here and uh, join the two pieces together. We've got eight coupler bolts that we're gonna be using and for the two banger, it's only gonna be four bolts. We're gonna flip over both halves here and there's two halves of the coupler here. One has these nuts punched into it, that's gonna be the bottom half here so that the bolts can grab on and fasten down there. The second half is gonna be the top here and these have no nuts installed on them. So we're gonna start installing the coupler here on the back half first. So I'm gonna make sure these holes align up just fine. And loosely just put in no need to fasten these down super hard quite yet. Just make sure they're grabbing on that nut on the other side. And I like to go in a diagonal pattern as I'm doing this as well. Okay, so now we can start fitting these second set of four bolts in on the second half now. 
Now that I've got all four bolts uh, put through the nut here on the coupler here, loosely fitting, I'm gonna take my four millimeter mini ratchet or four millimeter Allen key and start fastening these down and making them nice and tight. And as you're fastening these down, just make sure not to over torque too hard on, on these bolts as well. You know, you want them to be nice and tight, but you don't need to overwork it too hard. The bolt could be stripped if you continue to over torque these. We're ready to begin putting the four banger up on our car here and fastening it down to the crossbars. So I'm gonna just make sure I have those four bolts I took out from the mounting brackets earlier here, because uh, those are gonna be wrapping around the feet of the brackets there, and then we're gonna fasten them down to the crossbars. I typically either just put them in my pocket or just lay them up here and just grab them as I need as I'm installing the brackets. Now with a four banger, it can be done with one person. I recommend bringing a friend, especially if it's the first couple times you're doing it. Alrighty. Nice. So we're gonna be using our four millimeter mini ratchet here again to start fastening these bolts down. And what I like to do is just lightly put the next four on and just thread them through the nut there real quick just so that everything's grabbing. And then from there, we can start ratcheting everything down. One other tip here as well, is as you're mounting this on, you wanna make sure that you have this thing nice and straight throughout your car. How I'm doing it here is I'm basically lining up the bracket leaning up right against the tower here on the mount. So I know it's gonna be nice and straight on my car. If it's not gonna be leaning up against something, just make sure that you are getting a visual from a head-on vision here as well to make sure it's nice and straight um, while driving down the road. All right, and that's the final installation of the river quiver here. If you have any other questions, just feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer them. Other than that, I'll see you on the river.